All right, I'm going to go through the uh, disassembly and inspection procedure on the main axle, but mostly on the drive axle. The main axle, which contains all the pinion gears, um, my transmission was running actually just fine. And I think it's pretty unusual that you get any problems down on this main axle with these pinion gears, unless you have a catastrophic failure, uh, which I didn't have. I've inspected the dogs on each side of the gear wheels here, these pinion gear wheels, and everything looks perfectly fine on the main axle. So I'm going to put that aside and focus on the drive axle, because this is where everybody has problems, especially on the 2000-2001 R1s. So let's go through the disassembly, and then we'll go through the inspection. Um, I saw this online, and it's a really good idea, and that is, uh, as you take components off, uh, put them down on your workbench in order uh, of the component. So there's a gear that sits on the uh, a bearing that sits on the outside, a spacer washer, and then first up, which slides right off along with its little race bearing, or what the factory manual called spacer, um, is the first wheel drive. Next up is the fifth gear wheel. And then at that point in the factory manual, we've got a circlip that sits down in a channel on the axle. So you'll need a circlip remover to pull these clips off. I've already pulled this one off. Uh, these cannot be reused. So these are throwaway pieces and you need to buy new ones when you reinstall all the gears. All right, after the fifth uh, wheel gear and the circlip, there's a washer, a slotted washer, and then after that is the third wheel gear. Now we have an interesting setup with a couple of washers here. Th these washers are a pair. Oh, there's a spacer that goes with the third wheel gear that comes out. And the way these work is the top one just lifts off and comes straight up and out it's slotted and then the washer that sits underneath has to be rotated it sits in a in one of these channels it has to be rotated a slight amount so that you can pull that out and when those two are together it they lock together and they can't be pulled out all right after those washers come out we have the fourth wheel gear right here and it's spacer. Another washer. Then we have the infamous sixth wheel gear. This is where all the problems are. Slotted washer. And then our second wheel gear and its race. So that's the total disassembly. And where everybody has problems is down here where the sixth wheel gear and the second wheel gear mate. The dogs on the sixth wheel gear were not cut properly by Yamaha. So as they engage these recesses in the second wheel gear, they will have a tendency to pop out, especially under high load, as these surfaces here get worn out. And I can already see on mine I've got shiny surface in these channels between these recesses. And I've also got sort of a little bit of dished out cupping and round over on these edges of these recess areas. And that's exactly what... Uh, the problem is these dogs are supposed to be cut in a way where they're, there's a slight dovetail so that you get a real positive engagement when they go into these recesses. So what Yamaha's done is they've issued a replacement part. When I order a new six-gear wheel, uh, I'll get one that has uh, a different cut on these dogs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace the, the second wheel gear as well since I have this wear. And I can see up here... On the first wheel gear that pulled off this axle assembly, the, the first gear, 
uh, I've got similar, uh, in fact, probably worse wear indications here. Um, again, very pronounced wear on these edges here, here, shininess across all the different surfaces. Uh, this, this wheel gear is going to be replaced for sure. Uh, otherwise, everything actually looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to check the prices on these wheel uh, bearings or these spacers. Again, these sit on the gears that free spin around about the axis. And if I see any wear indications on these, I might go ahead and replace them. There's holes cut in these and channels inside, as well as channels in some of the wheel gears, like on the first gear wheel here, that allow the oil to come in and coat these surfaces. So anyway, that's the basic disassembly procedure. As assembly is going to be the reverse. Uh, the hardest part is the circlips uh, because they are a little tough to spread, spread out. I have a circlip tool uh, that's not perfect, but it helps quite a bit. And what I found works pretty well is you want to spread the circlip out enough using whatever tool you have at your disposal you want to spread this clip out enough where it will come outside of its channel and then it can be lifted off the axle and then the installation will be the reverse I'll spread the new circlip just enough to get it to fit over the drive axle and then I'll slide it down the surface all the way to the channel that it needs to sit in and that's the basic procedure